Jahan Sweet has produced so many big songs and it seems like every producer and artist is using his samples. But what can we learn from his production? Let's start things off by taking a listen to Mafia by Travis Scott. Cover your eyes, cut it up back in the v. As you can hear, the main sound is a detuned piano playing some arpeggiated chords. First, we have this tape piano, which gives us the body of the sound. And on top of that is an upright piano with a lot more high end. I process both of them with a compressor, room reverb, and elastic pitch. If you listen closely to Mafia, you can hear a reverse piano playing in the background. To replicate this, I pitched the chords up, reversed them and chopped them so they play on every other bar, and added a portal for some extra texture. Now Mafia isn't the only song Jahan used the piano on. Take Drowning, for example. In the breakdown, he talks about using a call and response effect between a lead and some vocals. These two things made it special to me because they seem like call and response. I wanted to do something similar, so first I recorded in these vocals. They sound okay, but I wanted to make them more unique by adding this plug into it. Essentially, you can turn any sound into an instrument or a different voice. For our beat, I selected the Chiara preset, which turns my voice into a female voice. Alongside that, I added an Alter Boy, Reverb, and EQ. And finally, we have the previously mentioned lead sound. After making the sample, Jahan passed it on to Boy Wonder, who did the drums. First, he added a clap and snare. Followed by a hi-hat and two open hats playing off of each other. Then there's a percussive rim shot, and finally, the 808s. However, we're not quite done with this beat. Another song Jahan worked on was the second half of Fair Trade by Drake and Travis Scott. I wanted to make something similar and use it for a switch up. Jahan laid down these dark chords with an organ for the main melody, something like this. After that, all I did was duplicate them and add a shaper box to give it a bit of a different texture, leaving us with this. After that, Wondergirl added her signature drums. First is a hi-hat. After that, are two snares. And finally, we have the kick and 808. In the first beat, we focus more on how Jahan uses real instruments. For the second beat, we're going to make something using synths. The first sound is inspired by Kendrick Lamar's Silent Hill. To replicate something similar, I used this simple sign preset and added a bunch of heavy compression. The chords are super simple once again, this time it's a 1-4 progression with some arpeggiated notes. To beef up a bit more, I layered that with another synth. After that, I wanted to take inspiration from another Kendrick track, Rich Spirit. As you can hear, there are some chords played with a really soft ambient pad. You can also hear a plucked synth bass, so I did one to RB to start the bounce. And for one final melodic element, I took inspiration from this Jack Harlow song. Here, Jahan used a classic Mellotron style flute, and I did something similar to RB. Adding these types of rolls to flutes is always going to sound good. For the next section, I went back to Silent Hill for some inspiration. Once again, Jahan finished the sample and passed it on to Boy Wonder to do the drums. He started with a snare and two step hi hat. However, what makes this beat really stand out is the extra percussion he added. He used a reverse kick and some gunshot effects. It all comes together with the 808.
Jahan has produced so many tracks that I couldn't help but add a switch up to this one. This time it's inspired by another Kendrick song, N95. Take off your idols. Take off the runway. Take off the Cairo. I love the huge synth sound he added, so I started by changing the chords slightly. Finally, I added a distorted synth bass underneath. I made sure to add lots of glides to give it that really glitchy sound. Mm -hmm. 